that something that you all have worked on a lot? This yes, week? sir. We worked on it a lot during the week, but um, Coach Strong and the uh, running back coach wanted to hide my attentions going out into the game, so I warmed up with the quarterback and everything. And then I did a lot of running back today, so it's a, they're pretty much surprised. I'm calling them up, call up guard. Have you ever played running back before? I did, Lully, but I ran a triple option in, uh, in high school, so I'm pretty much, I ran the ball a lot in high school, so I'm pretty much familiar with running the ball, so. It wasn't that big of a change for me. How going up? Did you know you were going to get that much playing time? I mean, I knew I was going to carry the ball a lot, but not as much as that I did tonight, pretty much. They pretty much surprised me as well. Yeah. How do you stay humble and, and focused knowing that? I mean, in these previous two games, it's like you get a few carries here and there, but for the most part, it's like you're standing more on the sideline and really active. How, how do you stay in tune and focused? Well, that's pretty much the head man, Coach Strong decision. He pretty much said that um, we can't afford 10 to be sitting on the sideline for the whole game. FIU, we got to find somewhere to get him on the field. Tommy, you guys really ran the ball uh, with a lot more success tonight than you did in the two previous games. Did you notice anything out of that, that offensive line in front of you that, that was different tonight? No, sir. They just was more hungry. That's a, I'll get a big shout out to the offensive line, um, Cup, Cass, Hector, all the, all, the guys, all the guys up front, especially the right receivers. They were blocking downfield a lot. So mostly they don't really see the, in the stats the, the blocks and everything, but those those guys play hard, the receivers and the offensive line. What about Teddy coming in after Will got hurt and you know, leading some scoring drives? Well, we pretty much happened last year with Froman and Burke, but we pretty much get the second string quarterback ready a lot, and Teddy just came in and made uh, great plays. What are you with a lot different Playing with him, quarterback. Or, I mean, how did that work out? No, sir, because we pretty much we practiced a lot together, so it's pretty much it was good chemistry going into the game and everything. I knew Taylor would come in and get the job done. And everything. I have faith in him. What does he bring to the offense? What, what do you like about what he does? I like he's a true freshman. And he, I know, sometimes freshmen coming out of high school don't have leadership and everything. They pretty much come with no confidence. Teddy is a confident guy. He pretty much he brings leadership and everything to the uh, team. Even when he's not playing, when Ford was out there, he was rooting on the team and everything. He be a great leader. Dominic, what do you think this win tonight does going forward? Uh, pretty much it, it helps us out going forward. We just got to win one game at a time. So next week, uh, we'll be off, but the week after that, just keep you know, going 1-0, 1-0. Is this a confidence booster for you Yes, guys? sir. It's a big confidence booster. For the pro not only for us, but for the program as well. Dominique, Tom Jarris compared you to uh, Michael Bush tonight. Have you heard that before? Yes, I did. The running back coach. He said it was two <laughs> quarterbacks that came in together, and one of them still playing. And who is it, Michael Bush? Yeah. Yep. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Talk about it. See, when you got in the game, the, the game changed a little bit. Offense, you got some good runs, and then Teddy came in. Talk about that and how the complex of the game changed. Coach Strong been harping the whole week that we play, playmakers need to make plays. And I told Coach Strong early in the week, I'm a playmaker, and I, they need to find a way to get the ball in my hands. And then I just went out there tonight and just ran great. The offensive line and receivers are rocking great downfield. How good does it feel to get much more playing time this week? You know, I know you prepare hard every week, but to get out there and, and show your stuff, that's got to feel good. Yes, sir. It felt, it felt great tonight, especially getting a win against UK. It felt great. I mean, Coach Stone said I was going to get carries and everything, just keep my head up. Coach Carter and everything, they had faith in me. Coach Carter told me before the game, it's going to be a big night for you, Dominique. Great. So this was part of the game plan? Yes, it was a part of the game plan. But we didn't we didn't show it at all, doing, uh, coming out doing warm-ups and Nothing like that, but it was a part of the game plan. We've been working on it all week, repping in the line of practice. Uh, how much do you think you confuse defenses when you can keep you and Teddy on the field at the same time where they don't really know who's going to line up? Yes, it's, it's very confusing. Also, when we can keep a, a great running back in the game, such as Victor Anderson and Jeremy Wright, they don't know who's carrying the ball or who will have the ball. we got a lot of playmakers on the field at the same time, so that, that confuses the defense a lot. Great. Uh, I mean, you just completely sparked the offensive line. They did a hell of a job tonight. Yes, they did. Those big guys up front, they worked hard. Coach Boyd was getting right and everything, and it paid off the night for them. They're blocking great tonight. Great. Thanks a lot.